What's going on, everybody? I'm Jack. That's Maisie. Maisie, say hi. Let's see if I zoom in. And we are gonna take you guys through a full day of eating. Maisie just had her breakfast. She gets two cups of dog food in the morning. I myself am gonna have a protein shake. But real quick, just to explain, today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating of 3,300 calories. So right now, I have about two weeks left before I start my prep. So right now, I'm between 32 to 3,400, but I wanna set a hard number of 3,300 calories, as well as 200 grams of protein at a minimum, a maximum of 100 grams of fat, and then fill the rest with carbs. This is how I typically do my bulking. I'm not super, super strict on the exact macros but I definitely have like maximum minimums I want to hit just for my personal preference and my personal performance but yeah like I said first things first we're gonna do a protein shake I need to run the grocery store to get some stuff and I'll show you guys basically how I fit protein to each meal how I do a macro cap at the end of the day if I am short on any specific macro how I kind of fill those in uh, but yeah without further ado let's get our protein shake and then head to the grocery store as I mentioned we're gonna start the day with a protein shake if you've watched this channel before I've been to do this every day for the last, probably last almost eight months now, is two scoops of Transparent Lab. This is actually their seasonal. It is the, um, let's see if you can see that, like hot chocolate peppermint or peppermint hot chocolate. I think it tastes a little bit like a York mint, if you know those like little like mint patties that are covered in chocolate. So you bite into those, initially it's chocolate, then you get a little bit of mint. That's pretty much how I feel like this tastes. Um, and then this comes out to be 285 calories, six grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 58 grams of protein. So a giant protein bomb at the beginning of the day. Typically I do throw in a banana, but like I said, I need to go to the grocery store. I'm unfortunately out of those right now. So we're just gonna do the shake this morning, then head to the grocery store. So I'm gonna down this and we'll go get some groceries. I'm not gonna do a full grocery run. I have a lot of those on my channel already, but I'll go ahead and show you guys like the main things I get and how I incorporate them into my meals later today. Real quick, I'll go over what I got at the grocery store. This is not everything I get, but I did already have some stuff at home. So this is kind of like a restock. We got our chicken thighs over here. We have our 92.8 ground beef right there for protein sources. We got some eggs as well as some Greek yogurts. I do already have some egg whites in there. So that's like the main protein sources. For carbs, we got some pasta. We got some white rice. My dad actually loves these. I personally have my own, but um, when they're on vacation, I pick some stuff up for them that they have when they come back. We have some apples, bananas, as well as some bread. This bread right here, I don't know if you guys can see this. I might actually get closer, you guys can see. The best bread in the world, in my opinion, is like cinnamon swirl. It is a little more calories. I think it's about 100 calories a slice. But while I'm bulking, it is one of my favorite pieces of bread and carb sources. So yeah, highly recommend that. So we'll finish off our carb sources with yes and vegetables. We got our um, red peppers. We do have some carrots as well. Not red peppers, a mix of bell peppers. We got some blueberries, we got some cheese, and then we've got um, some miscellaneous things like we need some salt. Uh, we picked up some bread sauce, some salsa, some black beans, as well as some butter, um, just to cook some eggs in and put on our toast. But yeah, that's a little grocery haul, a little restock. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do some computer work. That's typically what a lot of my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays look like. Uh, doing client check-ins, need to do some work for the Boomi Threads website, stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some computer work, come back, and then have our first kind of main meal breakfast. Now it's time for some breakfast. It's gonna be super simple. We're gonna do three eggs. I'm just gonna crack those into the pan and then scramble them up, as well as three slices of this bread. As I said, it's 100 calories, so it is a little bit higher in calorie, but tastes amazing. Then we're gonna evenly distribute one serving of butter across the bread, but I did just get these brand new pans. My parents just got these for me. Let's see what they are. Um, Williams Sonoma, is that right? Can you guys see that right there? So let's see. Only at Williams Sonoma. I, so I, I guess it's a Williams Sonoma pan. Oh wait, let's see. It's a green pan right there. You can see it. Maybe green pan. Uh, but these are super nice. Um, this was basically my Christmas present. So um, as you get older, your Christmas presents get so much more exciting. I went from toys to now I get pots and pans. But this is really nice. Basically, you don't have to cook with any oil. It's like a non-stick pan. It's super nice. So I can crack eggs right into it. Don't need any olive oil spray, butter, anything like that. So basically I can save on my cooking oil and put it, the butter on the toast instead. So first thing we're gonna do, go ahead and yeah, honestly, if you, if you need to learn how to scramble eggs, um, Watch a video on how to scramble eggs. If you need to learn how to toast bread, watch a video on how to toast bread. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together and show you guys the final product. And about five minutes later, we have our breakfast. I also did add a cup of orange juice. This is simply orange with pineapple. And for some reason, it is like crack. I absolutely love it. It is the best thing in the world. What I do slowly um, decrease my calories, go to a cut. My orange juice will turn to like an orange or a couple clementines, something like that. But right now, it's just so good. I cannot have it. I cannot not have it. There we go. Um, we also have our three slices of um, toast with a little bit of butter and our eggs. It really took me five minutes to cook. Uh, put the toast in the toaster, scramble the eggs, and you're good to go. So um, we also have Maisie. She's going to watch us eat. 
um, and probably will ask for some later. She's very loud. But yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. Cheers. Wow, I almost forgot to read the macro, so real quick, let's do that. It is 690 calories, 81 grams of carbs, 28 grams of fat, and 26 grams of protein. It is a little bit higher in fat, but the big thing is it's whole eggs rather than egg whites. Once again, a great substitution if you want lower calorie, but the same amount of protein. Go with egg whites instead of whole eggs. But yeah, this is gonna be my breakfast, and then we're gonna go do some more computer work, and then have a pre-workout snack, and I might take you guys to the gym. I'm considering it, it is a leg day, so it's not too glamorous, it's really four exercises, but shoot, maybe I'll record that for you guys. About to head to the gym, and on my way to the gym, pretty much every day, also for the last about eight months or so, I have a honey crisp apple, as well as two Rice Krispie treats for some carbs before my workout. It comes out to be 275 calories, 59 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and zero grams of protein. This is pretty much just a daily tradition. I don't know why I like to eat an apple as I drive there, have my Rice Krispie treats, go in, get my workout. And also, once I get to the gym, I'll have some pump product, because as you guys know, I'm going caffeine free right now. I'll have a little bit of caffeine here and there, like in a Diet Coke, I think that might have like maybe I don't even know, like 20 to 50 milligrams of caffeine or something. My caffeine tolerance is very low right now and I'll kind of let it build up throughout prep as I do start to take pre-workouts and caffeine things um, as I do kind of have lower energy levels. But right now I got plenty of sleep, plenty of food, so I don't really need caffeine, but I do have like a little bit of a pump um, just to get some blood flow and help with my overall workouts. But without further ado, let's head to the gym. We've got leg day. I am not gonna film it. I know I said I might earlier. Just with it being New Year's, the gym's still quite busy. I kinda wanna just get in and out because Mondays are always super busy for me. So I just wanna get in and out. Trust me, there'll be plenty of workouts to come on the channel, especially as I start prep, as I get leaner, as I'm more motivated to show myself working out. Because right now, I pretty much keep my pump cover on the entire workout because I'm a little self-conscious right now. But yeah, without further ado, let's go work out. See you guys at the post-workout meal. All right, we have just made it back from the gym and I'm actually very glad I didn't take the camera with me because I forgot today is MLK day, so a lot of people were off work and the gym was extra busy. I would have definitely been in people's ways and it was kind of a little bit easier to maneuver myself around the gym without a camera, stuff like that. So I apologize, you guys don't get to see my workout, but it was uh, leg press, leg extension, seated leg curl, and RDL. So really basic, but a great workout nonetheless. Now we need our post-workout meal. We have some chicken thighs right here. We're gonna make a little at-home chipotle bowl. So we have chicken thighs. We're gonna season with some Famous Dave chicken rub. We have a little bit of non-stick spray for our air fryer, also foiled down the bottom always for easy cleanup. We also have a cup of ready rice. Um, this is microwave ready rice, absolutely perfect, very convenient. Uh, we have a little bit of black beans. We have some reduced fat, shredded cheese right there. This is a Mexican blend, and then some salsa as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this together. I'll show you guys the final product. But yeah, as far as the chicken goes, season both sides, cook in the air fryer at 365 for 12 minutes, flip halfway, uh, microwave your rice, or cook your rice however you need to prepare it. Um, this comes out to be one minute in the microwave, and then everything else pretty much is assembly. But yeah, real quick, we'll go ahead and put this together, show you guys the final product. Also, I know this isn't like technically a full recipe, but it'll be six ounces of chicken thighs, um, like I said, one cup of rice. We're gonna do one serving of black beans, one serving of cheese. Uh, the black beans comes out to be 130 grams. The cheese comes out to be 28 grams. And we'll do four tablespoons of salsa, uh, which is gonna be two servings or uh, 60 milliliters. Also, real quick, before we have our lunch, we're gonna do our post-workout cocktail. You can blend that up. It is Transparent Labs Creatine and Post. So you can see that creatine and post, boom. I take this every day post-workout. Creatine, I'll take on my rest days. Post, I won't, just kinda wanna save it for my actual workout days. Um, it helps with the recovery. With this, we have the, let's see, I think I got the strawberry lemonade and orange flavors. Personally, strawberry lemonade is probably my favorite. It's between strawberry lemonade and blue raspberry across like all of Transparent Labs products. I use blue raspberry pump, but strawberry lemonade creatine. But yeah, blue raspberry, I feel like you can never go wrong. And then strawberry lemonade is also delicious. But yeah, we're gonna mix that up real quick, down that, and we'll have our lunch. Boom, just like that, we have our lunch. This is that at-home Chipotle bowl. Once again, we got our rice, our beans, our chicken thighs, six ounces, a little bit of cheese and salsa on top, looking absolutely delicious. Also, I did add one bell pepper cut up on the side just for a little bit more vegetables. That's one thing I'm really trying to work on right now during my bulk as I kind of enter this, well, I guess maintenance phase now as I enter my cut. I need to bring my vegetables back up, so I'm trying to do at least two servings a day minimum. Um, just because when I was bulking, occasionally it was just one serving a day, but definitely as I start to cut, I'll probably be three or four servings a day. But right now we'll go ahead and go over the macros for this meal, including the bell pepper as well. So it comes out to be 722 calories, 81 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat, and 52 grams of protein. So we got our fats, our carbs, and our protein on our post-workout meal right here. So I'm gonna dig into this. Um, Maisie, actually, let's give her a little bit of a pepper. I'm sure she can have a little bit, right? Right? Woohoo! 
don't feed your dog. It's a bad habit, but uh, she's too cute. But yeah, I'm gonna dig into this, and then we got a little bit more work to do, but I'll see you guys at probably dinner. All right, guys, so real quick, before we go into dinner, we have Maisie right here. I'm gonna pick you up. Whoa. You can see her. Whoa. Say hi. <laughs> But I just want to go over a quick thing that I'm going to be launching on January 23rd. So the Monday after this video goes live, I'm launching my clothing brand. So this is called Booey Threads. If you guys haven't been on the channel before, I've basically been working on this since, I want to say last summer, I think, all the way back, I think June, May or June of last year. But I just want to go over quickly basically the designs that I have launching on Monday. And yeah, just pretty much any support is appreciated. If you do want to skip this and see my next meal, I'm um, gonna add a little timestamp for you to skip ahead. But real quick, I'll go over these. So we've got five different designs. One of them I'm actually wearing right now is the bleach design. So you can see the logo right there. Boom, bleach. This is on a tie-dye t-shirt. And the back is gonna be Ichigo's different forms. So you can see Ichigo at the top. And then we have the half hollow with half mask, full hollow, and then get you got Tensho. We've also got that in a smoke. Boom, right there, as well as a white with black. I think this is probably one of my favorite shirts. Um, the design is sweet, and the white shirt is just so clean. Probably one of my favorites. And then we've got the next design, which is going to be Asta. Um, if you don't hit him for Black Clover. Um, so you can see the Black Bull symbol right there on the red shirt, the black shirt, and the white shirt. And then the design on the back is probably also one of my favorites. This is actually the back of my screensaver right now. It is Asta, um, as you can see there. Boom, looking nice. We've got the black design as well, right there, Maisie keeps licking me, and then we got red, boom. So those are the three, honestly, I think the white's the cleanest, I think it just looks the coolest because we got the black and red in the designs themselves. So we got that guy right there. Next design is Tengen from Demon Slayer. So basically we took his eye, so you guys can see this right here, you can see his little eye thing right there, boom, on his eye right there. So that's the back of the shirt. And we took that and put that in the Demon Slayer core kanji and put his eye design around that. So I think that's a really cool design. Um, my brother helped me come with that. So we've got those two. We've got basically like a purple and a gray. We also have a black launching as well. I believe that's in the laundry. We've got three shirts for Dragon Ball. So this is in kind of like that Gold's Gym aesthetic, but a little bit different. So we got Goku holding some barbells right there. It says Super Saiyan on the shirt. Nothing on the back, it's just a front shirt. So we got the orange and blue. We got the blue and yellow. And then we got the purple and green. I'd probably say the purple and green is my favorite colorway, but the orange is definitely cool. Adds a little bit of flair, um, adds a little bit of color to your gym attire. And then the last one, which is also, um, I think, perfect for the gym, is our Attack Titan. So it's not Attack on Titan, it's the Attack Titan shirt. And then we have the back, um, we have the Attack Titan, as you can see there, of Aaron um, in the Attack Titan form in the, basically, um, Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, perfect portion. So we have the circle, the square. And then we have a couple of Aaron Yeager's quotes throughout Attack on Titan um, in kanji on the top and bottom to give it that final look. And you can see the white one here, boom. And as I mentioned, the the front left is the Attack Titan because that his, is his specific shirt. Just want to go over those real quick as that's a project I am super excited to launch and have you guys get your hands on some of the quality shirts. It's super high quality. It's basically 100% cotton. They are comfort color shirts. So you can see it right here. Um, they are comfort colors, the shirts that we're printing on. I hope eventually to make my own type of shirt, but right now we're going comfort colors. Um, I am five foot nine, 180 pounds right now, but I would say about 175 normally, and I wear a size large. And this is how a large fits on me. Boom. It covers the waist. You can see my waist on my shorts is there. It's plain. I think this is perfect. A large for me is just about perfect. If I did want a really baggy tee, I could probably go XL. But I would say it's a regular size. It's not oversized, anything like that. And this is a really good fit for me. So, yeah, I just want to go over those designs real quick. But um, don't want to bore you guys too much. But just something I'm super excited about and really excited to launch. And, um, yeah, now let's go make dinner. It is time to make our dinner for tonight, but also the next three nights as well. And the way I like to do this, it's super simple. I think it's been on the channel before, if I'm not mistaken, but it might not have been. It is just meat sauce and it's a pasta. So for our meat sauce, we're going with the, um, I think, what's her name? Laura, yeah. Laura's Lean Beef. This is the 92.8 right there, boom. You could go a little bit leaner. If you wanna go like 96.4, you could go 90.10. It's just gonna change up the overall macros, add a little bit of fat to your overall final meal. Um, we are gonna go with some pasta. We need one whole box. This is um, Barella. It's probably like Berea or something like that, but I, I say Barella because I am American AF. 
Um, but yeah, it's gonna end up being eight servings. So this can count for me, it's gonna be four total meals. So two servings per meal. If you wanna cut down the overall carbs for your meal, go ahead and maybe use one serving per meal. I'm gonna use two. Um, that's a way you can spice it up. And then one whole can of our Prego sauce. So any sort of red sauce works, but I love the roasted garlic um, and Parmesan. Also three cheese tastes great. So we'll have one full um, thing of this. But basically all we're gonna do is take a big pan. Let's see. Boom, a big pan like this. We're gonna cook our two pounds of meat in this pan. Then we'll add our sauce in there as well. Let that kind of simmer for a little while. Get rid of some of the moisture, have it thicken up. Then we'll cook our pasta just per package instructions, um, which in this case, it's gonna be four to six quarts of water to a boil, a little bit of salt, add the pasta, 11 minutes later, you're done. And then we can just separate that into four meals. Easy as that. So first thing we need to do, go ahead and cook our meat. I will be using some salt and pepper on the meat. Um, salt or pepper, salt. Then also I do put a little bit of yellow mustard into the meat sauce. One of my subscribers recently told me to do that or not recently, a while ago, told me to do it and I did it and I noticed like a little bit more taste. Um, it doesn't taste like mustardy. It's hard to explain, but it adds a little more flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit drizzle of mustard once the meat is starting to cook. But yeah, let's go ahead and um, warm up our pan. Let's get our pan nice and hot, hit it with some nonstick. And we'll go ahead and put our two pounds of meat in there. Then go ahead and spread the meat out so it has a good surface area, but don't start to break it up yet. We wanna get the underneath a nice char, get some of those dark marks, which will be the flavor pockets, get a nice sear on it, add our salt, our pepper, and as I said, a little bit of yellow mustard. Like I said, let that cook, get a nice sear on the bottom half, then we'll go ahead and flip it, continue to cook, and then break it up after we flip it once. Our beef was done cooking, basically let it turn from pink to brown. We just poured our sauce in there. We'll go ahead and give that a good mix, wait for that, and we'll go ahead and turn it down to I would say, yeah, in between like a medium low and a low, somewhere like a simmer. And we'll go ahead, I'm gonna just let that kind of marinate for probably, maybe I'd say 20 to 30 minutes. Just kind of let it simmer. Once again, we're trying to get some of the liquid out of there, let it thicken up, become more of like a meat sauce. Once well, about 10 to 15 minutes before the meat sauce is actually done, kind of simmering and marinating, we'll go ahead and cook our pasta. Because it'll take a couple minutes for the water to boil and then about 11 minutes for that to cook. So we'll come back in, yeah, I'd say probably 15 minutes. Go ahead and start making our pasta and then we'll have our full meal. Now we've got both our pasta cooked as well as our meat sauce finished up. We've got four containers right here. So one meal I am gonna have right now, so it's just a bowl. And we have three containers that I'll go ahead and divide the rest of the ingredients into to save for later, just throw in the fridge, have the next couple days. But the big thing here is I don't re-measure the food because I know once I eat these four meals, I will have consumed all the food. So I'm gonna use the eyeball method. If you wanna be anal about it, you can, I guess, measure the cooked portions and then divide it up um, by four and then measure these things. But once again, I'm personally gonna be eating these four meals. So I know if it's slightly off, maybe two grams above or below um, a certain macro, I know by the end of the week, it'll average out. It's not gonna be that big of a deal because it's gonna be very, very close. Since obviously when I eyeball it, I go by a scoop. So basically what I'll go now ahead and do, I pretty much add a scoop to each container until all the pasta is gone. Same thing with the meat sauce, and that's good enough for me. It's called the eyeball method. Um, I think it saves a lot of time. And if you're stressing every last gram, like you can weigh this out, um, I think you have other issues you need to worry about before, um, unless you're maybe on like your last like month of prep or something for a bodybuilding show, then you can be a little bit more stringent on it, measure everything out to the absolute gram. But I don't think it's worth the time, so we're just gonna do the eyeball test. And uh, yeah, once I have my final meal, I'll go ahead and read the macros um, that these next four meals will have for me over the next week or so. And here we are with our final product. I did top it off with two servings of Parmesan cheese. This is just Kraft grated Parmesan cheese. Um, I just call it green shaker cheese because that's what I grew up with and that's what I grew up calling it. Um, green shaker cheese, that's pretty much what that is. Uh, we're also gonna have a Diet Coke. I've had a little over a gallon of water today. So the one thing I do recommend Diet Cokes or diet beverages, zero calorie beverages for anyone on a diet or even people that are bulking and wanna have a little bit something other than water. But the big thing is, I don't want it replacing your water. So say you drink a gallon of water every day, but then you start to add one or two Diet Cokes in there or one or two um, zero calorie drinks, then if that replaces some of the water, so you're going down from to below a gallon of water, that sort of becomes an issue. But if you have plenty of water already, a little bit of a Diet Coke or your Coke Zero, whatever your favorite thing is, go ahead and add that. It's not an issue whatsoever. Uh, but real quick, let's go ahead and go over the macros for this meal. And the final macros for this meal come out to be 870 calories, 98 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, and 65 grams of protein. We will have one more meal as we have, I think about 
400 calories left, a little over 400 calories left. But I'm gonna dig into this real quick. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite meals. I, I sometimes get sick of it. I don't know, it's one of those things where like, I love red sauce, I love pasta, I love Italian food. Uh, but after a while, it does kind of become a little bit boring. So occasionally I'll do like beef and rice instead or switch up the carb source, maybe do steak and potatoes, something like that. But right now I still enjoy it, especially with a Diet Coke on the side. But yeah, without further ado, um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I'll see you guys at the final meal of the day. And it is time for our final meal or what I'm gonna call my macro cap for the day. So basically what I like to do is at the end of the day, I pretty much have probably four meals, the meals you saw pretty consistently as well as the pre-workout snack on a regular basis. And I have about 500 calories at the end of the day to play with. Basically if maybe I was shy on protein, which I wasn't, I already had 200 grams before I made this meal. So I pretty much just had the rest to play around with a little bit of fat and carbs. I had a little bit of fat left as well as some carbs. So we're gonna go with one banana one Nature Valley bar, this is Nature Valley Crunch Bar, the biggest mess bar there is out there, as well as six milk chocolate pretzels. If you guys saw the Trader Joe's haul, you know the yogurt pretzels, the yogurt covered pretzels are bar from my favorite, and these are the close second, the chocolate covered pretzels right there. We're gonna have six of those. And then basically, um, since I didn't eat any protein, I, I could have had a Greek yogurt to increase my protein, could have a protein shake, a protein bar, something like that. But since I already hit 200 grams of protein, I had the flexibility to include something else. The banana, I didn't have this morning, so a good call to add the banana there. Um, this is pretty much a straight carbs, which I'm a fan of. I could have had popcorn too. I could have had um, another piece of fruit, something else. And then, um, of course, six chocolate covered pretzels because I absolutely love them and they taste delicious. This meal of three items I just talked about come out to be 463 calories, 79 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and eight grams of protein. So as you saw, mostly carbs because that's pretty much all I needed at the end of the day. And that's gonna bring our day total to, let's see, 3,305 calories, so five calories off my goal. 208 grams of protein, so pretty much on point, I wanted at least 200. 98 grams of fat, I said the max was 100, so just under that. And then 403 grams of carbs. So that's gonna be the final macros for the day. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up my full day of eating. I'm gonna go ahead and watch some Monday Night Football with Maisie. Um, like I said, my parents are out of town, so we got the house to ourselves, we're watching football. Um, Sunday night, we watched the Bengals win, uh, which is fantastic, and tonight we're gonna watch um, the Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, play. I think it's currently, the Cowboys are up, I believe, like, I think 13-0, something like that. But yeah, we're gonna head to the Solarium. I'm gonna chat out on this. But I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget the Boomy Threads drop is gonna be January 23rd. I'll be posting it all over my social media on Instagram. I'll also be dropping a video on Monday specifically. Um, that'll be actually going over my entire bulk, but I'll definitely mention the Boomy drop in that video as well. But please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.